Hey, let's do this. Uh, episode two of the new Refresh, the One Sneakers Press Labrie channel. eBay and Amazon are gonna be our best friends for the next, hopefully, couple years, where we're gonna make a ton of money. I'm gonna teach you a lot of things. We're gonna learn a lot of things together. My Amazon store, let's go over that first. Amazon store is deactivated. I have not had time to post. This room is completely full. The office where we used to film is full of stuff that needs to be posted. I've got Amazon stuff here. This gigantic pile of clothing is eBay stuff that needs to get posted and listed and packed and hopefully shipped out very soon. Let's go to the eBay channel <laughs> because there, has not been very good. Last 90 days, $1,200 in sales. Not very solid. We need to get that up a lot more to be doing this quote unquote full time. Let's get started. So we're going into the office. The office is scary. I have lights on because there's so much stuff. It's absorbing so much light. <laughs> okay. There is a lot to do. We've got Amazon, eBay, sneakers to still go through it's going to be a nightmare and very fun we've got literally adidas sh shorts just sitting here underwear we've got big ice coolers and peanut butter peanut butter <laughs> this is probably thousands and thousands of dollars just sitting here not generating us any freaking money so the best way to do this is just to get started just jump in say what's up to this pile of shit and have some fun. <laughs> wow. Um, this looks really bad on camera. So please do not make fun of me while we are doing this. Uh, <laughs> guy, I just keep laughing because it's horrible. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, <laughs> okay. So a lot of this stuff is going to have to be sent into Amazon or posted on eBay. So what we're going to use for this today is a great app, a great app called SAS, Seller Amp. You guys can see it right now. This is kind of where we can see the general look at the uh, listing item. Okay, story behind all of these Stan Smiths. We have a ton here. We have probably 25 pairs. Okay, Mission Tortilla route, we worked seven days a week, no days off. Uh, one of the days in the afternoon, I got done kind of early. We went out to the Nike outlet, spent about a thousand dollars on product i probably wasn't even going to send in yet um so let's get started let's scan this bad boy i know i got these for about 21 dollars a pop so uh after tax they were ridiculously cheap profit of switch it to fba 36 dollars. so every pair right here is going to be about 30 bucks one two three four five six um, that's 12, 14, 16, 18. So 35 bucks times 18, that's $630 if they all sell for full price. That's the first step. We have to get it posted onto our inventory. Then we have to go to the computer, print all those labels out and slowly but surely get through these products. Alrighty, so I have this big Costco box that I ordered uh, some stuff from Costco in and it's huge. So I should be able to place all of these sneakers inside. Ooh, maybe standing up. I don't know yet. Uh, first, I need to get them labeled and prepped. Then I can start figuring out how many are going in. I grabbed all the eights, eight and a halves, nine, nine and a halves. Try to get the main sizes in first. And then I'll start to go and collect the bigger sizes if need be. Like a little rip like that on a box for Amazon isn't actually the end of the world. It is totally okay. Pretty much got everything labeled. All I was really doing was taking a specific Amazon uh, label that they give you, they provide for you, putting it on the shoe, so then once I send it in Amazon, they know exactly what it is. All right, so now the fun part. This is where I wish I played a lot of Tetris when I was younger, but I did not. So we've prepped about 12 pairs of shoes. I think that's probably going to end up being perfect or we'll be able to add a couple more. Let's see if this size 7 will fit down here perfectly. This big shoe down here is getting in the way. 
we can do a size seven down here. Let's take this seven. Let's put this eight. Boom. That's beautiful. Like that fits. That fits just so good. <laughs> okay, so we've got three sevens. So I'm gonna need to write that down on notes. All right, final step here. We need the box dimensions, 24 and a half, 17, 22. I already weighed this guy. It is 36 pounds of sneakers. All right, so this is our best option right now, $21.02 to ship in. Yes, sir. First package into Amazon in 12 months, going in 36 pounds, 17 units, potential profit, $573. We're already on day two. Day one was pretty much just packing and prepping one box. One box for me is huge because that means there is a lot of potential profit going into Amazon. It could take a week to two weeks for the products actually to get into Amazon, uh, you know, to show on our side as well and to actually start getting some sales. My rule of thumb is a box a day, whether that's a huge box like we sent in yesterday uh, or, you know, a smaller box. Any product going in is always really good. The more product, the better, higher chance of actually getting daily sales. It's not going to be one day of working and you're already making $200 a day. It's going to be a long time of sending in products, finding products and prepping and packing and shipping before you get to that point. So it's kind of good that we are starting fresh. I'm completely out of inventory on Amazon and now we, it's like it's a brand new account. So day one was just prepping our first box. Now day two is going to be taking that to UPS, prepping our second box. I also have to run some errands out and about, so maybe we'll stop at a Walmart or something like that and check out their clearance aisle really quickly, see if we can find anything. Uh, so that's our game plan for today. Let's get to it and uh, start working. We're at the Walmart clearance section. First thing I do is look for any name brand products, Lego, Hot Wheels, Anything that stands out, sporting equipment. Right off the bat, we found this Lego Sonic, the Hedgehog. Um, so I immediately go and start looking for more. Boom, there's another one. Um, gonna double check those. I was filming, so I couldn't scan at the same time. Just trying to collect as many Lego things as I can. Then I'll go back through, scan the product. Went in to actually pick up nine volt batteries. Who the hell uses nine volt batteries anymore? I don't know. But uh, to fix my little door keypad thing to get into my house, you need nine volt batteries. So I had to go and spend 17 freaking dollars on those. They have that market absolutely cornered. How do we get into the battery industry? I don't know. That's a decision and a discussion for another time. But we went into Walmart, picked up these bad boys, Sonic the, Hed Sonic the Hedgehog. They had a bunch of other Legos that you know, made money. They made about $5, $6, but we were spending like 40 to get it. To me, that doesn't make a ton of sense ROI wise, just in case there is a return. 19 to make five is a lot better. I think ROI or, or profit margin is like 20% there. Um, so total, we spent $60. Mind you, we bought some batteries. So I'll have the exact total of what we paid per unit right here. So about $20 a unit, which is very solid. They sell 1500 units a month, which is sick. These will sell hopefully pretty quickly. I was also looking at um, the other sellers on there. Amazon's the number one seller right now, you know, of course. Um, but after that, there are a ton of other sellers that you know, have a couple units and price starts to increase after that. So if these don't sell by the end of the day, I'm actually gonna go back on, higher the prices on these two units to try to make a little bit more money, but I'll take a $5 profit, pretty much paid for my batteries. Uh, pretty damn cool, I'll take. One more thing about the Sonic the Hedgehog Lego set. The reason why I bought those was because it is a single unit on that listing. There is no variation. It is only that singular product, if that makes sense. That is a super important aspect when it comes to Amazon reselling. If you sell a product that has 50 different variations, it's gonna be a lot harder to sell that product quickly because you know there's 50 other different options. Like the sneakers we sent in, those Stan Smiths, um, 
those have, I believe, 23 variations. So that product may take a month to two months to sell all 17 units. It could be quicker than that. I'm not saying that that's the guaranteed time, but there's a possibility that it's not instant. You know what I'm saying? So finding a listing that has only a singular unit is worth the buy, even if it is only gonna make a four or $5 profit, especially when you're only spending 10 to 20 bucks to get it or less. That helps a lot too. So now we're heading back home. We are going to look for some more product to pack up, pack one more box. We'll go through, maybe find some more sneakers, maybe find some other products that we have. We've got plenty of stuff to send in. After that, we'll pack it up, get it ready to roll, and we'll have it shipped out by tomorrow. That's two boxes, two days. Great start. It's currently 8.40. This will be the last thing I do today, okay? I know we didn't do a lot in the video wise, but I had a lot of errands to run and, and things like that. So I had to take care of those things. Um, but now let's start prepping and packing all of our products. So I went into the office. The first item I saw, I've got a whole bag of these, probably about 10 to 20 units of these Adidas boxers. I've sold these in the past. They sell super well, very quickly. Um, right now they're at $18. That's what the price tag says. We got these from the Adidas outlet. So there is a 50% off there. And then we also got an additional 30% off coupon. So that takes it down to about six, seven bucks or so. But if it is 650, I'll go back through and double check and I'll have the correct prices up right here. Um, 650, that means we'll profit five, 86 per unit selling 580 units a month um, on SAS, it's super handy to have the ability to see how many units sell a month the sales rank you know you don't need to know about your profit percentage and ROI those things don't necessarily matter all you're looking for is what you're gonna make at the end of the day right there are variations to this product uh, which you can generally think it's gonna be different colors sizes so right there there's probably are already another 12 listings on it. With men's clothing, I particularly like if I'm gonna do clothing. Um, men know what style, what size they are. They buy the same things time and time and time again. Women on the other hand, not saying it like how it's sounding right now, is this is strictly business, is they'll buy it, try it on, they don't like it, they'll send it back. We don't want returns. So I try to stick with as many men's clothing products as I can, unless I'm gonna find an absolute steal on something or, or make a crazy uh, you know, amount of money or I'm spending 10 and making 10, like then I'll take the risk. I got the good sizes like XL and I got large and extra large and all of those different sizes, more of the, the bigger sizes. I try to stay away from extra small and small. Those aren't necessarily the best sellers. Okay, the next item that we'll be sending in as well are these gigantic, gigantic Adidas sweats. Uh, these are from the Kohl's sale. They do this every couple months maybe, and it's an additional 50% off marked price. So these are a 4XLT. So I can literally fit my body in one pant leg. This is for someone, Shaquille O'Neal or something like that. This is for a humongous human being. Um, and you may be thinking, why would anybody ever buy that? There are people that buy these and not a lot of vendors or sellers like us will take advantage of this. Like they'll see it and be like, no, that there's no way that sells. These sell like hotcakes. Um, let's scan it and see how we're looking. So I believe I got these for 1250. Again, I'm gonna have to go back and check the receipt, but I will uh, pop up you know, what, what it actually is. Okay, so I have it in SAS already memorized uh i've already inputted it once before that we bought these for 1350 so that's good that's really good uh they sell for 42.95 and will profit 15.29 per pair i think i've got mm, maybe 10 15 of those that's pretty solid right there um only sucky part is we're gonna have to go through poly bag it exactly like this this is a 3 xlt i've got 2 xlt I've got just XLT, the T just stands for tall. Uh, the last product that we'll be kind of talking about right now and filling up the box with are these women's Adidas uh, leggings. These we got from Sam's Club, they were doing a clearance. 
Uh, I think we got them for $12. Also there, they accept resell license. Okay, it looks like we got it for $12 because I have it marked in here as $12. This is actually a really good example and I'm glad we get to talk about it right now. You can see on the SaaS app that it says uh, 0.01, negative. So you'd be like, why does that, well, how is that even happening? So that's because there is no one on Amazon currently right now. Amazon's not on the product. You and me aren't on the product. So we can go down and we get to dictate the price. There are no sellers right now. So what I'll do to not like overcharge someone for it, I could put it on for $65, but probably wouldn't get a sale. You can go down and look at what the majority of people were selling it before you know they ran out of stock. So we can see here that for the most part, Amazon was selling it 30 to 40 bucks. And then same thing with the FBA, $46, 40 bucks, somewhere in there. Really solid numbers. So we could push a little bit. And I think pushing a little bit is completely fine. Like $45. If someone really wants it, they will. If it doesn't sell, we'll just drop a little bit. So let's say we do get that $45 price tag we will profit $19.45. That doesn't suck. No, that does not suck. So we've got a lot of items here. Everything has to be polybagged and prepped and labeled. So this could take a minute. I'm gonna get to work. Hopefully um, this doesn't take too long. It is currently 8.56. I wanna give kind of a, a general time to see how long you know it would take you to do this and it takes me to do it as well. So let's get started. Start prepping and packing this guy. One more thing I forgot to mention was poly bags. Poly bags are an expense. They are just a plastic sheet pretty much that you put over your product and that's about it. It is an unfortunate expense, but you can pick these up pretty cheap off of Amazon or if you find a supplier, let me know. Cause I would like to, you know, get them cheaper than what I'm getting them for. You can pick them up off of Amazon for like seven cents a piece. I usually try to go as bulky as you can. Um, seven cents is typically the best I found and I just do the generic. It's like 12 by 10 or something like that. Maybe 15 by 10. I don't remember what the exact dimensions were, but I'll have everything linked down below. If you guys want to go and pick up some stuff, um, we're going to have to poly bag everything. That's one of Amazon's rules is you can pay them to do it or you can do it yourself and save a little bit of extra money. Cause so just got done packing prepping, labeling, polybagging, removing labels, so much, so much. It is currently 10 o'clock, so about an hour to complete that task. All we have to do now is just go on Amazon, get our shipping label, figure out how much that is. It is a total of 37 items, um, and I know our average was probably about 10 bucks. I know some will be a little bit more, some will be a little bit less, but we can just say for the most part that box is going to make us 370 bucks. <laughs> that's pretty awesome i mean uh pretty easy work uh so total time like i'll just give you an estimate kind of on how long it took like the sands club stuff you know i was picking up normal things toilet paper toothpaste those type of stuff and then just walked and saw the clearance aisle or clearance section where those were so maybe we'll we'll account a half an hour for that just because that total time adidas we'll say another half an hour finding the um boxers and then coals about a half an hour plus we found a ton of other stuff at those places as well so we're in for now an hour and a half and then an hour of prepping and packing so two and a half hours to make 370 bucks yeah it's pretty good um there's a lot of items which is great full box uh so that's two boxes now in two days Tomorrow, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get another box completed. If not, then we'll just do two the next day. We'll just try and try and try to get at least a box a day in. We just got the final results, 25.04. Ouch. It was more expensive to send in the clothing than it was the sneakers. I mean, it happens. It's just the way it goes. They're sending this box to the East Coast, so that's why it's so expensive. Uh, somewhere in Kentucky, it said. But usually, you know, with good SKUs like we do have right there, you know, everything's under 50,000 sales rank. It should have been a little bit cheaper, but our estimated profit isn't going to be 370 anymore. 
it'll be 345, which is still really good. You just want to make sure you're picking up items that are, you know, making good profit just in case, just in case something like this happens. Well, I think that's a wrap on the first episode. Thank you guys for the support again. Like, I'm glad to be back and I'm so happy to be back and it's good to see you guys and hear from you guys. If you guys like this Amazon stuff, please let me know. Like, definitely let me know. Hopefully next couple episodes will be more on the eBay side, but we'll continue to do both. Um, this one, it's like starting fresh again. Like, we, we had no inventory in Amazon, so we had to send some stuff in. We're going to go sourcing here shortly. We're going to sell some sneakers still. We're going to do everything to make as much money as we can and just try to do reselling full time. I think that's a great goal to have, not necessarily like, you know, turning a little bit into a lot. It's like, what do we have to do to try to make this a full time gig? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments, questions, anything like that, please leave it down below. Uh, I'll definitely get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support as always, and we will see you in the next episode.